He was a violent criminal who spent 54 of his 73 years behind bars. Come with me as we visit the grave of the Birdman of Alcatraz, Robert Stroud. Today, I'm in Metropolis, Illinois. You may know that Metropolis is a fictional home of Superman. The town even has a giant 15 foot tall statue of the Man of Steel standing on its town square. But today, I'm just north of Metropolis at Masonic Cemetery where I'm gonna be visiting the grave of Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz. His find the grave memorial had GPS coordinates they were spot on, so I had no trouble locating this grave. I really like walking around a cemetery like this one, looking at all the stones and markers, get a true sense of just who the people are that are resting here. I'm not sure how old this cemetery is as I was walking around. I saw a grave with the date of death on it of 1899, and that's about the oldest one that I've seen as I walk around. And here is the grave of Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz. Robert Franklin Stroud was born January 28, 1890 in Seattle, Washington. Father was an abusive drunk. And at the age of 13, Robert ran away from home, living on the streets and in various group homes. By the time he was 18, he was living in Alaska where he met a dance hall girl, a prostitute named Kitty O'Brien. His relationship with her resulted in his first brush with the law. On January 18, 1909, a mutual acquaintance named Charlie Van Dalmer assaulted Kitty, and Robert went after the man. In the ensuing confrontation, Stroud shot and killed him. Robert was tried, convicted, and sentenced to 12 years in prison. But because Alaska was a territory and not a state, he had to serve his time in a federal prison. He served his time at the federal facility at McNeil Island, Washington, where he was known to be one of the institution's most violent and unruly prisoners. During his time at McNeil Island, he assaulted and stabbed a couple of inmates and became so unruly that he was transferred to Leavenworth Federal Prison in Kansas. It was at Leavenworth on March 26, 1916 that Stroud killed a guard with a homemade knife. As a result, he was sentenced to death. That sentence was later overturned and commuted to life in prison. The U.S. Attorney General ruled that Stroud should spend his life sentence in solitary confinement. It was at Leavenworth that Robert Stroud became known as the Birdman. Prisoners were sometimes allowed to buy canaries, and Stroud took advantage of this and began raising and caring for the birds in his cell. By raising and caring for the birds, he could eventually sell them to buy supplies for himself and to help support his mother, who he adored. During his time at Leavenworth, it's estimated that he raised over 300 birds, wrote two books, and was looked upon as something of an expert by bird lovers. His reputation as the Birdman grew. Because of the number of birds that Stroud kept in his cell, his cell was filthy and the source of constant complaints from prisoners and guards alike. 
1931, Stroud's birds had become such a sore subject with prison administration that they wanted to have him transferred out of Leavenworth. But Stroud discovered a loophole that prohibited prisoners who were married in Kansas be transferred out of state. So he quickly married a pen pal named Della Jones. The marriage so infuriated his mother, who had been his strongest supporter, that she began arguing against any attempt at parole. She soon moved to Metropolis, Illinois, and refused any further contact with her son. She died in 1937. For the next several years, Stroud concentrated on raising his birds and staying out of trouble. In 1941, prison authorities discovered that Stroud was operating a homemade steel in his cell. This, coupled with the unsanitary conditions of his cell, gave them all they needed to transfer him to another prison. On December 19, 1941, the Birdman was transferred to Alcatraz. He was not permitted to keep birds at Alcatraz, but upon his arrival, prisoners and guards alike quickly dubbed him the Birdman of Alcatraz. Robert Stroud spent a total of 17 years at Alcatraz, six in solitary confinement, and 11 more in the prison's hospital wing. With his health failing, Robert Stroud was transferred one final time to the Federal Medical Facility in Springfield, Missouri. It was there that he died on November 21st, 1963, at the age of 73. He is buried here next to his mother in Metropolis, Illinois. I think it's safe to say that the real Robert Stroud is nothing like the man Burt Lancaster portrayed in the movie. The man buried here was a violent and unpredictable criminal who spent a total of 54 years behind bars. And with that, I'm going to head on down the road. I hope you found something interesting in this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with my future travels, be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. So now, until next time, remember, life is a journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.